7 a.m. and the cash machine maker Demolt manager Scott Clough is gearing up. D Day. <laughs> Founded in 1859 to manufacture safes, Devold made their first ATM in the early 70s. Today, they're the biggest ATM producer in the US, each one a miniature Fort Knox. The ATMs arrive at the factory as pre-welded steel shells. This is the exterior of a 750, a freestanding ATM island. It's exposed to the elements 24 hours a day, but its main enemy is not the weather. It's the bad guys. Security experts Dave Lewis and Nick Billets wage a constant battle against the criminals. Their first challenge is simply to make sure that an ATM stays put. When you think of physical security, most people think of the things that you see on the news, which is somebody grabbing a, a pickup truck and ripping the ATM, uh, or somebody throwing a chain around it with a bulldozer or, or some type of construction equipment. The best way to counter an unstoppable force is with an immovable object. The island unit is bolted down and anchored in six different locations with giant bolts down into the concrete slab. That's its first layer of security. Occasionally, a really determined criminal does manage to rip an ATM from its moorings. That's why it needs a second layer of security. These seismic sensors are connected to ink cartridges. Rock the ATM, and it trips the sensors, releasing the ink and telling the greenbacks, boom. So they may get away with the ATM, but they're certainly not going to get away with the prize. Once the sensors are fitted, the ATM is a tough nut to crack, but it still needs a brain. Jimmy Handy carefully installs the central processor, and it's this bit that's the number one target for high-tech attacks. The big headache for ATM security men is that these attacks can be done remotely. So bolts and concrete are no defense. The answer is a sophisticated firewall, which blocks out almost all cyber attacks. If someone tries to hack into the firewall of the ATM, that can be reported back to the uh, central monitoring station, and at that point they can shut the ATM down and take it out of service. Frontline security sorted. Next, the ATM gets its cash dispenser. <laughs> The challenge is to come up with a flexible system which allows the ATM to dispense different amounts to different customers. The answer is to fit it with five spring-loaded cassettes, each holding up to 2,400 bills in varying denominations. Josh Eller builds and tests these multi-layered mechanical money counters. He's a man with the cash. Only trouble for him, none of it is real. The can't have millions of dollars hanging around the factory, so they put their own. Same size, same weight, different value. I wish it was a real thin old bill right about now. It may be nice to have. The latest headache for the security guys is that some ATMs now allow you to deposit money as well as withdraw it. Crafty criminals insert fake notes to trick the system and top up their bank balance. Countering counterfeit cash requires considerable cunning. In this situation, we have a lot of security uh, associated with this one is called a currency template. That currency template is designed to come uh, and check not only the note, but all the watermarks on the notes. That note will have a certain serial number to guarantee that it's legal tender. The ATM spits any dodgy notes straight back out. So no possible way for us to put fraudulent on the notes into the machine. Once the processing unit and the cash dispenser have been installed, they move the ATM to the final station. Here they mount the monitor, card reader and keypad. But this machine still needs a defense against one more nasty trick. 
the most common type of fraud is called skimming, in which criminals attempt to skim or copy all the vital PIN codes and credit information from legitimate ATM users' cards. They start by placing a scanning device in front of the card slot. And now as I slide the card in, it's picking up on the magnetic stripe information as it passes through the skimmer. The thief then comes, removes his skimming device, takes that back, pulls the information off, and he now has the magnetic stripe information off of your card. Skimming costs banks $5 billion every year. To deal with it, they build in sophisticated electronics, which stop the skimmers skimming. I have a sensor here that's a jamming device that provides an electromagnetic pulse, which jams the card frequency as it comes in. Therefore, their skimmer won't pick up any card information. Once the last security systems are in place, the ATM is ready to be shipped. Almost. The final challenge is to make sure it all works. Here in the testing department, Bertie Smurf is putting the finished model through its paces. I want to test everything. Nothing can fail. Only when Bertie gives it a thumbs up is it free to leave. Unless I'm happy, everybody's happy. <laughs> so, whether you want to stash or splash your cash, you can bank on this ATM to keep your money safe and secure. <laughs> <laughs>